Hi everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know I haven't done a voiceover in a while, but I figured with a piece this complicated, it required some explanation. So this piece overall is slightly different than many of my other Terra Human pieces, in that I wanted the figure to be seamlessly blending into the mountain, so that you could almost see the shared identity that we have with nature. So when we look at the process that I had for this piece, you can see that, as per usual, I really tried to tackle it in sections. This really helped me break down this big and complicated project into digestible pieces that I could tackle every day. So with this section of trees in particular, I chose to mostly work from dark to light so that I could get the darkest shadows possible and then build highlights and midtones on top of that. And this is where you start to see the more difficult aspect of this piece, which was building the background landscape in between these trees. When I was mentally planning out how I'd create this piece, I decided this would be the best plan of action. And honestly, I don't think there's any right or wrong way to plan out a painting, just as long as it makes sense with how you work and what you want the final product to look like. And even looking at the piece now, you can start to see how the figure and the mountain start to blend into each other pretty seamlessly. And although it was difficult to create this effect, I just love how all the details blend together. And while painting the face, I was observing all the different skin tones that I saw, laying them down and then blending them as best as I could. And now you'll start to see the peak of the mountain develop in the background. And I just love the sort of duality and dynamic of this peak next to this woman. And so after about 150 hours of work, this is our final result. And honestly, I think my favorite part of this piece is just the fact that she's sitting in a windowsill so that it looks like you're looking into a portal to another world. And I'm such a detail-oriented person by nature, so this piece really lended itself to that part of my personality and painting technique. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed seeing my process and how I created this piece and seeing the final product afterwards. And as of the recording of this video, this piece is still available from a bent gallery in Denver. There's a link in the description to view it on their website.